Uh, one thing you're probably going to notice when using Final Cut is that your ability to trim multiple clips at the same time seems extremely limited. And because most of us are used to lassoing a bunch of clips and JKL trimming them forward and back in Avid. And it's arguably one of the places you kind of live in that app and it's great. And Final Cut has no equivalent function. So Final Cut takes some justifiable shit for this, but I'm going to argue that it's a little overblown, the criticism. So could this functionality be improved in Final Cut? Would it be worth improving? That is a resounding yes, but it's not uh, at the tippy top of my list, frankly, of like things that I'd wish for for Final Cut to get better at. Um, I think it sneaks by uh, in the multiple clip trimming department, but there are a few things you're going to want to know because they aren't uh, at all going to be staring you in the face. Okay, you can trim multiple clips back uh, in time pretty easily. You can select them and you can use option right bracket to trim them back. And I'm working, I'm doing this in audio clips, but the same holds for video. So that's easy, right? But what if you want, what if this scene got longer? You might try all sorts of things. You might uh, try to do the same thing. So you lasso them, come here, and you might hit Shift X for your extend edit, which I'm doing and nothing happens. Okay, well, great. Well, what about shift clicking these? Nah, that doesn't work. All right, so I'm condemned to do this, I guess. Uh, that's what I thought for a long time, but you're not. Uh, if you park your playhead at the end of that clip and hit the left bracket, you will have selected both edges of this clip and you can go to wherever you want to extend them to, shift X and they get extended. Boom, you're done, great. There are a few limitations to this, however. The first one you maybe already thought of or noticed, what if they're all at different lengths, but I wanna roll them out a second or whatever relative to where they are. There's not a great way to do this that I know of. So unfortunately, the best thing to do is to take a measurement of how much more you want to add and change the duration by keying in the number. So maybe I, I take this measurement that's like a second 17 frames, I select these clips and I change the duration plus 117 and they get extended that amount. Okay, clearly this is not ideal because I'd argue that this isn't the way editors like to work, right? It's about feel and it would be great to be able to make these sorts of changes while playing back and in context with the rest of your sequence. Final Cut really excels at fostering that kind of creative flow, so it's really a shame that it falls short here, but there you go. Okay, so why is that not a deal breaker? Well, it's not the end of the world because I find I need to do this relatively infrequently. Most of the time, I'm just going to want to extend to the end of a unified point, like the end of a scene. And because it's very quick to extend clips that need extending, like I can just grab these and snap them. If I have snapping turned on, you know, I can, I can extend them each very quickly. And because of the magnetic timeline, and connected clips and all of this business, I don't have to worry about disrupting anything. The second limitation is that if you have, say, these clips, audio clips, in a secondary storyline, and the end of them is on a cut point that's in line with your primary storyline picture, and I try this same trick of hitting left bracket, it's only ever going to select the picture, the primary storyline. If I take these and I move them just a little bit out and I try this trick again, boom, they'll be selected. So it's, it's not awesome, all right? But with something like this, I would actually probably have this live inside a compound clip. Right. And now once it's in a compound clip, if I do that same thing, I can select it and I could extend it. Boom. 
So Apple's got room for improvement here, no doubt, but I would argue that uh, it isn't quite at the level of a deal breaker. Final Cut has so much else going for it. I'm perfectly willing to live with this, uh, but I'd love it if it got better. Um, so that's it. That's my quick tip, extending multiple clips. Uh, thanks for watching. Have at it. Bye.